Oh, they're sending him to Cork. Fantastic. We'll take care of him. The traditional family, big on all Catholic values. Oh, very good. Mary's gonna slaughter him. I could see it in her eyes. The rules are quite straightforward. They're the Ten Commandments. Oh, John is not gonna take any shit from them. Mom, I'm Japanese. They don't care about you, honey. Yeah. Quite refreshing. The Irish are notorious for being nice and friendly. But also lazy. So I didn't really expect it to be built so fast. Well, we built half of America and then we were like, well, fuck it. I'm not going to build Ireland now. That's a fair point. Oh, I don't even God. live there anymore. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a foreign invader now. Oh, God. I mean, I can't talk. I was living in the UK for a good bit this year. I'm the only true uh, loyal Irishman. I am 100% <laughs> Irish after all. I took a DNA test. Name your favorite potato. Uh, potatoes? <laughs> Kevin, did you say you're 100% Irish? Yeah, so like, it's probably incest if you go back far enough. Yeah, but... That's what I was thinking, unfortunately. That can't be good. I'm only 64%. Yeah, I looked up your results immediately. Like, actually, in the video I did the DNA test, I looked up your one and found out oh. I'm way more Irish <laughs> than you. <laughs> I'm very exotic. I have a bit of a uh, British in me. Wow. A bit of I British know. in you. Oh. I think all Ireland had a bit of British in them. In a while. <laughs> uh, it's the septic eye. And... It's been about two or three weeks. I've aged horribly. But my setup is way better. Past Kevin is so stupid when it comes to making videos. All right, so we're gonna start with ancestry, and then we're gonna move on to 23andMe because I think the health one is making me anxious. And when I'm anxious, I'm funny, so it'll just make me constantly anxious through the whole video. Hello, Kevin. The test is shown to matches as Kevin O'Reilly. What? <laughs> okay, so no surprise. I'm 100% Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> Let's discover your DNA story. I think it's just gonna be like a pin on the map, like where my ancestors have lived for all their lives. <laughs> and he said, I've never, ever, ever had a DNA result like this before. And I've been doing this for 10 years. You are 100% Irish. No one is 100% Irish. He said, if you go to Ireland, and I looked it up, and it's true, and you get their DNA samples, you will find out that the most Irish-looking people are like 86% Irish, 94% Irish. He said, you're 100%. And I said, well, I didn't know what to make of this. I said, what, is it, what does it mean? He said, what does it mean? He said, it means you're inbred. Oh my god, look at this. What were we doing? <laughs> we were just going around in circles. <laughs> there's a lot from Munster in general. I thought there'd be some from, like, Northern Ireland. Maybe there is. Maybe there's just more from the south of Ireland. Irish potato famine. No, don't remind me of that. I'll get PTSD. <laughs> what about DNA matches? Where are my relatives living? Fifth to eight cousins? I don't even know my second cousins. Help. Help me, make me interesting. I had a feeling this one was gonna be boring. <laughs> Thank God I did two tests and the other one might be a bit more interesting because this is boring. <laughs> it's like I'm blaming the website because I'm boring, because I'm just 100% Irish. <laughs> well, at least that like firmly stakes my claim to be the best Irish YouTuber because I'm 100% Irish, like I'm no 99%er or anything. Honestly, I think you should have to be 100% Irish to even qualify as an Irish YouTuber. Wait, I'm sure Jack Septic guy did one of these. What did he get? But 35. 4% British. <laughs> yes, he's out of the running. <laughs> Look at the shock in his face. I mean, you could also argue that maybe it just makes him more interesting, but I'm not going to bring that up. Shit, I already did. I think that's me done here. Wow, that was very expensive to just tell me that I am Irish. <laughs> like I already kind of assumed. All right, now on to the really interesting one. I'm kind of scared of it because it's going to tell me a lot about my health. And I already feel like I'm falling apart. I don't really need to know there's more down the road waiting for me. I'm also not sure what the deal is with these. I know one of them got a bit of flack for like saying that they could use your DNA. I'm not sure why they'd want to use mine anyway. <laughs> Like if they wanted to make like clones of someone or something. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You're in for a world of hurt. You're gonna want to die if you have to deal with any more than one of me. <laughs> and one is already pretty tough. Top of the morning, guys. How's it going? My name is Kevin. And it is St. Patrick's Day. And me being Irish, of course, as you already know, I have to kind of rep the country. You know, I have to represent today. It's our day. Don't try and make it about yourself. <laughs> Because it's our day. This ought to do. Just just for one video. Should be fine. I should just about get by. I mean, this is just for thirst. Now we can do it. I'm from Kent in England, but now I live in Kildare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that gets applause? Oh, hold on a second. I didn't realize it was that easy. Hello, I'm Kevin from Cark. Please clap. Ireland has a knack for taking a series and making a worse version of it, but it's based in Ireland, so we all watch it anyway. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened here. I'm on their- Ah! Ah! I'm injured! I can't record today.
I don't know if you can see that or not. Hold on. It's not focusing, but I assure you there is a semi-visible mark from me hitting my hand there. So if you could like and subscribe, it would just make me feel a lot better. Oh God, get down everyone. <laughs> everyone dives for cover. Oh, they got him down in the pit with his, his birthday cake and everything. Now this is hard hitting journalism. Lads with hangovers in the morning after too much strength coming to work. Well, if I did to do it to my, I, I blackened their ass with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's dangerous with that feckin' stick. He's right. If you come in and are hung over, you should smacked with a sheep stick. Sure, Mary, isn't that one of the Ten Commandments? There'd be no piercings on the body or face. Jeez, you might be right on that one, John. <laughs> Let's rip him out. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we are playing Drunken Bear Fight. Just like every day of my life, being Irish, you know, it's kind of what we do. Is looking for a beating. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to make your job hard. <laughs> I don't think he even noticed. No, he doesn't notice that. Oh god, <laughs> he noticed that! Oh, he's given up! You see? I knew you- wait, was that just a dance move? This Irish flag has a ring of fire around it. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, you'd why. like this, it's a ring of fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus, stop. I'll have to find something that I can vaguely connect to me because I'm seeing stuff for you guys. <laughs> oh, um, we won't be needing that. We're just gonna be lighting some... Whiskey on fire. I mean, the recipe calls for something else, but I wanted an Irish touch on it. So that's what we're going to be using today. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and get ready, because you're about to get an overdose of cringe. We're going to watch an Irish dating show. The thing to know about Irish TV is every show is cringe. Somehow, everything is just... It just makes you go... <sighs> Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. Me included, by the way. I, I am involved in that. I will make you go... <sighs> ah, all right. Let's jump in. Wait, are we live? Yeah, we're live. Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? <laughs> There's no real intro or anything, we're just here. Uh, top of the morning to you? Please. Oh, <laughs> More. <laughs> Coming back. Come on, every Irish person says that. Why is there like a really raunchy, topless picture of Waluigi above the spawn? <laughs> yeah, that always happens. I have a weird thing for Waluigi. All <laughs> right, I didn't see anything. I'll uh, um, just keep that between yourselves. <laughs> uh, he's not actually topless, is he? Oh, wait. He's topless, all right. Wait, he might... Uh, I was... No, I thought his suspenders might act as sensor bars for his nipples, but no, they're on full show. <laughs> okay, right, good to know. What well, a wonderful an sentence. Advertiser friendly. Do you ever just think, like, if you hear one of these sentences out of context when you wake up, and you just be like, how is that going to come up today? <laughs> like, what context? <laughs> it's really hard to find you guys when you when everyone looks the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost afraid to leave the main area, because I'll, yeah. I'll get lost immediately. What's your, your name again, Sean? Septic Booper. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, when you joined, I thought it was Septic Boomer. And I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Please call me Septic Boomer for the whole stream. <laughs> <laughs> Who built, like, did the mods build these leprechauns and Tato Man, or is that. The fuck is wrong with his hand? Which Tato? Oh, <laughs> that is what my sleep paralysis demon looks like. Mr. Tato with his claw. <laughs> this is how you know it's a bad monument, because the three Irishmen here took ages to figure out what this was. I fixed it. I put something on the top. Is it Jim? It's Jim. <laughs> it's just oh, his little head looking over the land. There, there's a potato on him. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, let's get the stereotypes, like, just raging while we're here, Whoa. you know? Oh, <laughs> oh lads. <laughs> That is cursed. We, I think we're uh, breaking your server. <laughs> is it already dead? Like, people this haven't is... even started connecting yet. It's worse than dead. This is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God almighty. <laughs> it is the most cursed fountain ever. It looks like he's just spewing out the top of the spire. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. You see, they approached me with a job. And like every job that comes across my desk, I said, I'll think about it. You see, sometimes people want to promote their products and, well, I'm just not that interested. That ain't saying they're bad products. All I'm saying is, I'm a busy guy. Then, the gravity of the situation hit me like a ton of bricks. This is more than just a job. This affects my heritage, my pride in my country. They're coming for the alcohol. Prohibition, they call it. Fancy men using fancy words to take away something they don't got nothing to do with. And normally, they get away with these kind of things. But this is where I draw the line. You don't, uh, no, you can't take away alcohol from an Irishman without a few kneecaps getting bust. So that's where we find ourselves. It's time to bust some kneecaps. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, you thought I meant in real life. No, jeez, 
Jacob, no, 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 no. I'll be playing a game. You see, I'm a coward. <coughs> Sorry. Um, realistically, that should be lit on fire. It's the only, it's the only reasonable thing to do. Well, now it's an upside down cake as well as a, a baked Alaska because that's not, that's not going to survive going the other way. So that's how it is now. Why are you backing away? Why are you backing away? Some would say that's a bit too much. I'd say not enough to forget that thing. No, it's looking good. It's looking good. I might not need this. So the bubbles mean you're you're ready to, to light it up. You're ready to get it get excited. This is scary as fuck. Oh! Whoa! Alright, you might not be able to see the flames, but trust me, this is actually on fire. Wow. Now we're gonna taste it. We're gonna see how lovely this is. It looks amazing. I particularly like the look of this piece, the little bit in the middle that's kind of still full. If you just bit of tape on that and you're good to go. You gonna taste it? No. Why? <laughs> look at it. What, what do you mean look at it? There's no ice cream, it's gone. Well, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> it didn't not. just sneak out. Okay, I mean, really, what matters with a cake is the center. And if we look at that, that is, look at this, the flavor locked in here. It's unbelievable. You'll never come across that. Never come across that anywhere else. It's just locked right in here. You can't even see the ice cream. It's locked right in. It's locked right in. It's locked right in there. The, the flavor is locked. The flavor's locked right in. That's some good sponge. I've just dropped everything. Um, I think I didn't even film earlier. We are trying to find the perfect gift for Artie. It's his birthday. That looks great. He can wear it on the way home on the plane. <laughs> no, he doesn't like dogs. He doesn't. Wait, he likes Lego. He li does he like shooting? Yeah, he's a violent dude. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't arm him. There's only one problem with Lego is that we don't have like an unlimited supply of money. <laughs> I'm blanking here. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to get him. Oh. What do you think about the shark? He's afraid of crabs. Is he? Oh no, that's the disease actually. No, he's okay with animal crabs. This is Rihanna and Artie. Look. Where am I? I found them. Wow. He does like Minecraft. So does my editor. Will, do you approve of this as a gift? Or this? Now we just have to or wait this. till he edits it and we'll know what to get him. I don't know anything about Minecraft. Which one is like a, a main character in Minecraft? This is the villain. That's like the final boss of a game. So this is the one. I think no, 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 no. He doesn't, he's afraid of the final boss. He's not got that oh. far in the game yet. Oh. Um, this is the main character and his sidekick, mm -hmm. Rochelle. Mm. So. Okay, if you think that's the perfect gift for I Artie. think so, because he really likes Rochelle. So let's say two. From well, what Minecraft. what games he likes the most? Minecraft's been really popular on this channel. Okay, so what's like a phrase from Minecraft? To the blocks. To the blocks? Yeah. Oh jeez, I'm I can't believe I'm trying to draw Minecraft. How is the the legs like this? Yes. <laughs> I actually jeez. feel like I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> Ah yes, hold music, <laughs> my second favorite genre, only second to royalty free music. They're one and the same really I guess. Oh, we're getting another loop of it, how nice. Ah, that's good. This song slaps too, wouldn't mind breaking out a dance track, you know. I will break out a dance for that, with this. But uh, you see, the problem with Ireland, we're not ready for any serious weather. So like we get bad weather, but it's not insanely bad. So we don't usually get snow and we don't get like uh, storms that often or hurricanes. And well, we're just not really prepared for when we get hit by even the slightest amount of snow. So it kind of shuts down the country. And this is uh, on the national news where we were interviewing this lad who has this to say. Oh God, it's death because the mountains are brave and close now, right enough. Sorry, I... <laughs> he had that to say, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> he said it's desperate. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep going. Well, the demolishers, we had to go. Well, anyway, we hadn't much a choice in the matter, but... Uh, <laughs> it's a, cool, a cool journey to school this morning. Oh, God, you wouldn't belong getting frostbite. I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just fantastic. He's like an 80 year old stuck in like a 14 year old's body. Like, Look at that snow. I, How can you even go out up, in up, that? Up, it's up, treacherous. Up it's like not even an inch of snow. Oh, no. <laughs> he's lost to me. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> he's just having casual conversation with the news. And he's like, oh, well, thank you anyway. And he goes about his day. Let's see what uh, what became of him. Because I know he was on he was on a talk show. Let's take a look at that. From Derry, Rory Max Orley. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at him go. Let him talk. Let the man speak. Rory, how are you? Oh, not so bad. How are you enjoying yourself, <laughs> He's fabulous. That's how they all talk up where you come from, is it? Or would you be... Well, I love how the host is, like, perplexed by this. He's like, is that how you all sound up there? Like, the host is Irish, too. I felt like enough. <laughs> I'm not sure what you said there, but... <laughs> <laughs> Even the host doesn't understand him. What's the point in bringing him on a talk show when you can't understand him? We can just rename it to a, a listen show, I guess. Wait, hold the phone. Hold on. He's got a music video with almost two million views. He's got a, my highest music video has got like a million. This guy's way better at being Irish than I am. Wait, hold on, Rory. You're getting me demonetized. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What the hell is happening? This is incredibly Irish. I think we've gone down a rabbit hole and um, I think I want to come back out of it. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a fun game. So I'm going to feed him some jelly. Oh my God, he really likes jelly. Oh my God, he loves jelly. We may have lost, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, 25 people, but I won't lose anymore. <laughs> These girls look psychotic. The audience look like demons. Howie Mandel looks like a bobblehead. And Derg looks like Derg. It's not only Elmo that's cooked up. <laughs> it seems like Sesame Street has a serious coke problem well come with me i'll take you there <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way dude want to see a farmer up there like with a new crazy invention like a potato but like a smart potato that like tells you when to eat it or something <laughs> something wild <laughs> god i should be a dragon i want blue me to do well i feel like he's a trier god bless him <laughs> i want white me to win and i want red me to die <laughs> in an automobile accident <laughs> i'll thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time Whew. Another day's recording done. Fabulous. Now I guess it's time to uh, catch up with the family and uh, watch some news, see what's going on in the world. I'm coming, Kevin Jr. I'm coming. All right, kiddo. Let's see what's going on in the world today. Let's watch some of the news. Good evening. You're watching the world news from Sky Tele What a day it had been for Mrs. Thatcher. Uh, Mr. Kevin, in the shallow bracket. Closed circuit TV. Kevin was just absolutely horrified because of Oh no, this is just depressing, kid. You don't want to watch this, honestly. You know what we need? We need some Irish news. There's nothing depressing about Irish news. Let's go watch some of that instead. Uh, you, you all right there, kid? Kiddo? He's, he's sleeping. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> all right, let's go watch some Irish news. Last Saturday, Mikey Joe O'Shea brought his flock of Scotch sheep down from the mountain commonage ahead of lambing. See. Mikey is convinced over 45 sheep have been stolen. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, <laughs> and you're with the sheep just come. You see what I mean? You see, this is the problem in other countries. They're trying to report on sad stuff and, like, current affairs and politics. If you just talk about feckin' sheep, well, hold on. Let's not talk about feckin' sheep, all right? Uh, no, don't quote me on that. I'm talking about... If we just talk about sheep, everyone can get behind that. And I don't mean the sheep. Stop thinking that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's see what else he has to say. I'm going to translate in real time for you. Just count out tonight's nice bitumen, you like? I'll translate the next part. I, he's even lost me there. Hold on, let's try that again. From the, from the top, let's go. 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, and you're with the sheep. Just count, just count out tonight's nice bitumen, you like? Be doing the boat, you're laughing. I think he's saying it's a nice bit of money and you can't do anything about it. I think. All right, I'll do the rest. I'll translate the rest. Nice day, isn't it? My son. <laughs> no, I've honestly lost him. What does Google have to say about this? Be doing the boat, you're laughing. 
Okay, I don't think Google knows either, but it's a better guess than me, honestly. I'm kind of impressed. Come back, come back, come back. Look, don't say come back to them. If I can't understand you, the sheep sure as hell can't understand you. Don't talk to them. In the meantime, one of the farmers is offering a 2,000 euro reward for any information Whoa. leading to the return of his sheep. Let's go get those sheep, guys. <laughs> That's good money if we split it between all... Two million of them. My house is actually quite famous because it's it's the exact house that the devil appeared and was playing cards in. Uh, someone just wrote potato famine in the sky. Ah, uh, lovely. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> uh, I, knew, I knew I could smell blight. There's someone building a, a big Jim Pickens and I just came over and replaced the pupils with like smaller Jim Pickens heads and he just turned around and nodded at me and went back to building. <laughs> Why is that village on fire? Oh, Kevin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, they'll stay warm forever. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Stay warm for the rest of their lives. Yes, which won't be very long. Why are they putting out the fire? Oh, wait, that's you. I'm putting it out. <laughs> this is terrible. Someone just said something terrible in chat that Kevin just set fire to Northern Ireland because this is just outside the build border. Oh, I was going to make that joke, but I had the wherewithal not to say it. <laughs> You're okay. We joke about that kind of stuff here. Uh, okay. It's, but it's does the internet me. joke about it? <laughs> Kevin, you can't just do that to the North. Look, I burn everyone. I don't do it because they're the north, I do it because I'm a bastard. Come on, come on, come on. Feck. Of feckin' course it's the arrows. Are you feckin' kidding? Feckland. Ah yes, all my customers are here. It's like you hear about Feckland that just opened? Feck, feck, feckin' feck, feckin' feckin' feck, feckin' 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 feck, 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 feckin' feck. Feckin' feckin' feck, 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 feckin' feck, feck, feckin' feckin' feck. Top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is Kevin and I think I did that wrong. I'm just trying to be a little bit more Irish, but don't worry. It's St. Patrick's Day and I'm here to teach you about Ireland. I mean, look at that. How could you not love that country, right? I hope that's Ireland. And what would you think about when you think about Ireland? Would it be the Cliffs of Moher? Would it be lush green scenery? Would it be Guinness? If so, you've got a problem. No, it's PS2 Irish games. Of course, of course, there's at least Three of them. <laughs> One of them being a sequel of the first. I think I tried to play the first Gaelic Games football game on my channel two years ago, but it didn't quite work out. I was using an emulator, but now I'm a big time YouTuber. I can afford a PlayStation 2, so we've got the proper game this time. Jesus Christ, I am pale. <laughs> I don't think the lighting is helping, but you know what? In the spirit of St. Paddy's Day, I should be as Irish as possible. Go on, I, I should be more pale, to be honest. I'm letting my country down. But yeah, let's uh, jump into the field and get started in our hurling career in Gaelic Games Hurling. I hope you enjoy. Oh, look at it. My fellow countrymen. Except for you, Kilkenny. Feck you. Yeah, Cork. Oh, I love Cork. Feck you, Kilkenny. Oh, but other than Kilkenny, look, my fellow countrymen. Just getting on. They're a grand bunch of lads. Just another bag broken. Oh, God, no. Ah. Welcome to Love Island and time to meet our first contestant. Call Me Kevin is a professional gamer who hates long walks on the beach and going outside because it burns his fair skin. He also has absolutely nothing going on in his life and no friends so can give you his full attention. And now some words from our contestant. Sup bros, uh, my name's Kevin and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be on Love Island even though I hate love. I hate islands too. Wait, one second. Ireland is an island in the North Atlantic. Oh. Thank you for coming here on such short notice. Ugh. I can finally be the person I have always wanted to be, a black guy. <laughs> hey gamers. Congrats on the success of your channel. I love your videos and watch it all the time. Oh god, I've been hanging out with three children in the dead of night. Oh no. <laughs> Where is my money? Do on dine baby spielen gamen snam mit mama und mir als 50 lustigen babysitten spielen. Kevin, try it. I'm going outside. I'm <laughs> not going outside. <laughs> I'm going up the wall. <laughs> oh my god. God, look at those legs. <laughs> Good job. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> that should be the final clip. <laughs> Shout out to Patreon. <laughs>
So he makes egg breakfast. He drives them to school. He brings them to a strip club for some reason. He brings them to a, 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 an adoption center, I guess, for cats. They clean the house and then he sets them free. <laughs> that's, that's how I imagine the story went, but we're not going to find out for real, unfortunately. Smoke bombs and all that, that stuff. I am Kevin. <gasps> I can't even spell my name. It's like K. Three, V, one, Z. During a storm, a ship unexpectedly arrived at the Hook Peninsula, where the mansion was located. A young man was welcomed into the mansion, Anne and the young man became very close. But one night, the family and the mysterious man were in the game room playing cards. In the game, each player received three cards, apart from Anne, who was only dealt two by the mystery man. A butler serving the Tottenham family at the table was just about to question the man when Anne bent down to pick another card from the floor which she must have dropped. It is said that when Anne bent over to pick up the card, she looked beneath the table to see that the mysterious man had a cloven foot. Red eyes. Could he be crying because his father left him? No, it's obviously conjunctivitis. You may not know this, but I'm actually a former businessman. So if there's one thing I know, it's marketing. And my big business brain told me there was only one thing to do. Print some flyers and hit the streets. I filled a few local neighborhoods with some flyers, hoping that I'd get the surge I needed to get caught up in the YouTube algorithm. Unfortunately, some of the polls in the neighborhood were being used by other posters. But this is business, and in business, you can't let things get personal. Now that I'd covered as much ground as my unathletic body would allow me, all I had to do was sit back and wait for the subscribers to roll in. You just can't beat that feeling of doing a fantastic job. I'm smuggling drugs. Oh, she is searching them now. Should have started doing that from day one. They wouldn't have got alcohol into your home. Harry! Yeah. Oh god, what have you found on Harry? Please. Oh, um... That's a paddling. <laughs> Wait, he's running away? Harry, this is Ireland. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> There's only fields. Once again, the cameraman just follows him ditching school. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Mary's on the prowl. She's gotten worried. That cameraman snitched for sure. I don't know. What if I can't find him at all? Well, I mean, just ring the cameraman. <laughs> ridiculous, really. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Mary. You're right. I'm looking for a 15-year-old boy, blonde hair, green uniform, St. Aidan's. See what the bank camera <laughs> He's gonna phone the police. There's some woman there looking for a 15-year-old boy. Sure ain't that illegal. Oh my god, I thought that was Mary coming in the car behind him. Could have hit and run him. Next time, stay in school. He'll have to deal with more than just disappointment with these parents. But what are they going to do to him? Is the death penalty legal in court? But if that wasn't enough, Mary's just discovered the bottle of wine Emily stashed under the mat. Oh no. Oh no, and Emily was just getting on their good side. Sorry, I'll give you my full attention now, Mary. She'd be furious if she saw me on my phone. It's ridiculous. You know, there's rules in this country about alcohol. I'm going to have to turn you in, Emily. <laughs> it brings us straight to the police. Well, I want you to learn from this week and, and learn that you don't need crutches like this to keep you going, love. I don't think she's using it as a crutch. <laughs> she's like 16. <laughs> this is not a typical Irish family. A typical Irish family would not pour alcohol down the drain. <laughs> I really just want to have a shower and just think. Jesus, cameraman, leave her alone. She's going to the shower. <laughs> John isn't the only one ready to see a change in Harry. His mum, Julie, has written him a letter. Why did she bother? She knows he's not going to write back. He probably won't even call her. Probably not going to call you either. How art thou, our dearest Harry? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> His mom is great. Dad and I want for nothing more than for you to be happy. She's so nice. I wonder what her husband is like. I think he's legitimately not said a word. Oh, he's gonna say something? Oh no, he changed his mind. There's something right on the cusp of his lips about to come out. And then he said no. Maybe later. <laughs> See you soon. My has a kid. Oh, that's dramatic. Look at that. It's really sinking in. Oh my god, it's worked. I don't think of myself as a horrible person. Maybe they just need to communicate in letters from now on. It's like a fucking Disney movie or something. Like one instance just changes the entire character. She's telling the truth that she did drink it on the way over here and didn't drink it while she was here. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. If you've asked her about it, if she said that is the case, well, then yeah. we believe her. 
Yeah. Well, that's very mature. I thought they were just going to beat the shit out of her, to be honest. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and I don't know about your country, but my country, Ireland, is still in lockdown, which means I think we should just watch a little TV together, you know, enjoy a little home time. So what I picked to watch was Ireland's answer to Gordon Ramsay at your service. It's not a show I've watched before, but I've seen clips of it, and I, I thought it'd be fun to experience it together <laughs> because we've had some good experiences watching Irish TV before. Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. I just hope I don't get sued by the entire nation of Ireland for stealing all their TV and uploading it to YouTube. But let's not think about that for now. Let's watch two middle-aged men ride into a nice song on bicycles. Oh, I feel upbeat. I can almost see them through the pixels. <laughs> okay, it's fixed. So these are our main characters. You probably can't see them right now because they're in camouflage, but you'll see them soon. Okay, that's cultural appropriation. I, maybe I should skip the little intro. Now, this is the first, Emily. The two Brenner brothers in the bed with you. Skip! Skip! Oh my god, look at that house! That's the house they're gonna be doing up? It's amazing! Call on him from Kildare. Oh god! Shout it at them, I like that. Don't talk to them, talk at them. <laughs> Ah, Jesus, he lost two already. Is that the, the way he talked? Is that it? Oh, God, I can just feel the, like, what do I do with my hands, you know? <laughs> you can tell he doesn't know. I just, I, I, I don't know. Not for me. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> it's the most Irish thing ever. It's like, ah, you're not for me. Ah, no bother. <laughs> uh, Linda, what do you think? Lights on. Ah, like he has his own leather jacket that'd work for the bike, so... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that! It's like, what do you think? How about your compliment? Gee, oh, he has a jacket. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. Carl, what will the girls think after they take a look at this? Oh no, he's prepared something, a video. Carl be very good with the ladies. Girl cats in the Oh, they're all going. Oh, they're all going. They hated that picture. Yeah, he has no real shame. And uh, he doesn't even see. Oh no! His friends are trying to be like wingmen for him and it's it's having the opposite effect. Oh no, Kyle, this is a disaster. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Kyle? It's really creative, had the beer box protecting his head. I know it's tough in oxygen with the sun and all that. Oh yeah, that. of course, you need protection. But yeah. uh, it wasn't keen on all the girls. Sun protection. <laughs> Uh, Dirty. <laughs> I liked that someone called him out. <laughs> she was just like, oh yeah, making a joke about that he had a box over his head, like a beer box. Like, oh yeah, protection from the sun. He took it in a dirty way, because of course that's his job. And then she hits him with the... Dirty. <laughs> the little laugh and everything. Well, obviously he's not getting enough, ladies, if he's appearing on Take Me Out. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Why would you say that? And it looks like a good crack as well. Good crack. All right, nice one. Uh, I should. I should uh, clarify that. Good crack means like good fun. <laughs> Just so you're aware. They're not like, oh, he's a good crack. Because <laughs> that, that sounds wrong. We only got like seven minutes of the video left. Come on, wrap it up. Fix Harry next. <laughs> now, Aussie teenagers will begin their long trip home. What? But you didn't fix Harry. He's still got a bit of a troublemaker in him. He probably still has that bottle in his pants. He never took it out from day one. He's too afraid he'll get found out like she did. Yeah, uh, this is a present from Oscar Here's your piercings back. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> They've all been watching a bit of Jack Septic guy, I see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, she's breaking down. They had such an impact on her. Meanwhile, Harry's gone running away again. <laughs> Where's he gone? She's a super girl. I'll see you, I'll see you. But what about Harry? <laughs> Please fill me in on what's happening with him. Good man, Harry. Have a good life. Thank you. Okay. There Just we gonna... go, a little handshake. No, but seriously, what about her piercings? <laughs> Are you going to give them back? Is John going to be wearing them as he waves them goodbye? <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Did they have a little sign up? Hold on. Welcome home, Harry. His parents are the best. Hi. <laughs> you gonna say hi to your son? Wait, I think he said something. Hold on. Hi, Harry. He said hello, Harry. Oh, that's that's really nice. Uh, I feel like all the loose ends are getting tied up. They don't have any sign up for Emily. God, way to get shown up. <laughs> I like how it's like a surprise, like, oh my god, she's here! <laughs> Meanwhile, the cameraman's in the living room waiting for her to open the door. <laughs> they were fantastic. They were like the greatest family. They were so good. Hey, hold on now. Don't talk them up too much. Like, you're 
your own family might get a bit jealous. Then I decided that I didn't want them. No, hold on, hold on. You fought tooth and nail to keep those piercings. Well, John just wanted them more. He was more passionate about it. I know, appreciate what I do have, not whinge and fight with you about what I don't have. They're only being nice because the cameraman's there and he's got so much dirt on them. As soon as he leaves, they're gonna go back to normal. She's kept up horse riding and still doesn't have her face piercings. Well, that's because John never gave them back. I couldn't have put the ending better myself. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Or else. More, 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 like. More, 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 more,